Hi, and welcome to the second video of the Riding Out of Your Mind online clinic. Now it's time for some thoughts on thoughts. If you're human, you have likely noticed you tend to get negative at times. And like all humans, you have specific situations that tend to spark more unhelpful thinking than others. This is as true in life as it is in sport. But I want to take some heat off you now and tell you that this negativity you possess, you kind of come by honestly. You see, there is a very real phenomenon called the negativity bias. Our brains are designed to respond more strongly to negative stimuli. We evolved this way to keep us out of harm's way. Our survival depends on our ability to recognize and avoid danger. Now this is great for our existence, but not so great for navigating our everyday lives where we still carry that negative bias. And of course, not so great for your sport, where yes, you are also more likely to be negative, and worse yet, so is your horse. As a prey animal, they too are wired toward the negative, toward being on the lookout for things that may pose a danger. But you don't have to give up and spiral into pessimism. You can do something to help you and your horse stay on a productive path. Remember and practice your three R's. The first is to recognize. Get a clear handle on what situations elicit that negative response from you. Is it when the weather turns bad? Is it when you make an error? Is it when your horse spooks? Get to know your specific situations. Second is to replace. Get your new language ready. It won't be natural. It won't be easy at first. And because it takes about five positives to combat a negative, it won't hurt for you to wrangle up more than one new response to your situation. Write as many as you can down. Write pages if you can. It will help your new line of thinking become more familiar. Then choose your top two to three strongest and commit to using those words. Rehearse is your last R. You need to help yourself begin to create a habit with your new language. Now this can be tough. The pull of your default negative talk can be strong. So just don't know what you are going to say with your inner voice remind yourself to practice. Here are some ideas for you. You could use visual cues like post-it notes with key words, put them in your tack box lid, on your bathroom mirror at home. You can try this, but it's not recommended for obvious reasons which may lead to even more negative talk. But basically anywhere you can put notes to yourself to remind you of your new self-talk will be helpful. You can also try using the entrance to an arena or a barn as a cue to check your chatter. Are you prepared to think productively or need a little tweak to get your thinking on that different track? Using a watch alarm set for different parts of your day or your ride can accomplish the same thing. It will remind you to check in and make adjustments you need to get your self-talk more in line with your riding goals. And finally, some people really do thrive on recognition. So as back to grade one as it sounds, try giving yourself a star in your journal or a check mark or whatever else you would like to signify every time you catch yourself in a good self-talk act. You'll feel great watching all those stars add up and yes, your horse will thank you. See you next time.